<laughs> I honestly feel like crying. Anyway, have you ever had a problem where you've been debugging it for months and just not really figuring it out? And this, this is just crazy what happened to me here. So, since moving to where I live now, um, I've been having problems with VoIP calls, WebRTC, and FaceTime. And the symptoms are basically the connections are sort of dropping out and um, having to, to reconnect. Um, and it's been very, very annoying. And for the longest time, I thought it was a problem with my parents, for example. I just kept on, because I never had that problem before I moved. But when I moved from, like, I only, honestly just moved one kilometer east of where I was previously living in Singapore. When I moved, I did change from um, a zone modem to this uh, Link Star LSM2620. And um, this is actually the culprit. I know this now because um, it's only recently when I started threatening uh, ViewQuest after a year of this that I'm going to leave. Um, I got a phone call yesterday saying that, oh, we've heard of this problem before with these modems and the solution is to use bridged mode. So what bridge mode means is that instead of all these, this is a two gigabit product I'm, I'm paying for. So the idea with the two gigabit is that it's shared amongst these four ports. But with bridge mode, only one of the port works. So henceforth, I'm only getting one gigabit. And um, anyway, I tried it and I used my Microtech HAP8 AC2 or something like that. And lo and behold, FaceTime was stable. Um, what really kills me is that I actually, if I went back to this, if I went back to this non-bridge mode, rooted mode or whatever, is that I can't actually identify these dropouts. You know, smoke ping doesn't identify them. Um, I'm guessing it's some weird issue with NAT maybe. I mean, NAT is evil, right? But I'm just, I'm just so, so frustrated that UQS basically didn't solve my problem after a year. And, and, and I said, like, why don't you replace the modem? Give me a modem that works. And they said, no, there's no um, solution. You have to use this mo modem and they'll start billing me for one gigabit instead of two gigabit. I think one, one issue that we they have in, in Singapore is that the GPON um, technology differs per region and perhaps this modem is the only one that can communicate with the GPON hardware buried in my road. So I'm wondering if I do switch to another ISP, will I basically get the same Linksys, Link, sorry, Link Star modem which basically has caused me untold grief. So that's where I am today. I'm t I'm just so frustrated, honestly. I hope you can uh, <laughs> uh I I hope you can sympathize. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.